Eric Lindstrom, creative director. In Underworld, we wanted to raise the stakes because we wanted a much more epic experience. Daniel Newberger, lead artist. The overall vision of the game is big and epic. Rob Pavey, lead programmer. We knew that we had to rebuild our engine from scratch. We really wanted to stretch the limits of the system. We wanted Lara to be able to go into the world and embark on this epic adventure. But rather than having her go out and, and save the world as traditionally done, we wanted to turn that on its head. In this Tomb Raider, we go to a lot of different places. We go to the bottom of the ocean. You go to icy underworlds. You visit jungles. We really wanted to give a sense that she had to go all over the world to accomplish her goal. You have death-defying leaps, climbing, and probably some of the most sinister traps we've ever put in a Tomb Raider game. To really give Laura a sense that she's overcoming her biggest obstacle ever. The environments in Tomb Raider are beautiful, but don't stand around too long or they'll definitely bite you. Harley White Widow. Lead designer. One of the wonderful things about the current generation of platforms is it allows us to be limited only by really our imagination. The truth is that her skills, her environments, her abilities have been so expanded upon that you can do things with Lara Croft in, in Underworld that you can't do with any video game character anywhere. I think we've really turned the page in terms of what the player can expect when they move into one of these worlds and they just find that it's mind-bogglingly detailed. Tomb Raider stories have always been about Lara Croft going out into the world, discovering lost cities and tombs, and finding artifacts. So in Underworld, we wanted to raise the stakes. What Lara does is she goes after the artifacts she's looking for, but finds out fairly early on that doing so is actually dragging the world to a possible catastrophe situation. So she has to face the fact that, that pursuing her own goals is actually putting the world in danger. You get excited, you get thrilled, the hair stands up at the back of your neck because what you're doing isn't just a game mechanic. You're in the location, you're Lara. 